ओपनिंग द क्लिनिक आई आई वांट टू लर्न टू यूज टू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम कलिकने टू सेंटम फॉर अ जॉब फॉर लर्निंग ओके नाउ आई नीड टू ओपन अ प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस वेयर यू हैव टू बी द हेड यू हैव टू टेक ऑल द कॉल्स व्हिच इज लिटरली द टफेस्ट थिंग दैट मैनेजमेंट पार्ट बिकॉज़ वी वेयर ट्रेंड टू ट्रीट पेशेंट्स बट वी वर नेवर ट्रेंड टू एक्चुअली हाउ हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ सर्फिंग Yeah, I do. Yes, okay. yes. I it's do. similar to surfing, okay. but on a still water. Without like in a any yes. wave or something. Any they wave to on a still it. water. Oh. You have a paddle. But you practice then on a still water. We are in the generation where mm. the marketing happens in a wider dimension. Mm. For us, it's only word of mouth. We are not believing any kind of a clicks or any kind of a promotional Proposals. activities. Mm. We believed in the results of the patient, and that patient will bring two or three. Mm. Hello everyone. So today, welcome to our second podcast, and we invited actually Janani Ma'am and Vignesh Sir, so who as a founder of Aro Green, if I'm not wrong, if I'm spelling it right, Aro Green, Aro Green, and also they are an important member of IAP, and she is the Tamil Nadu Indian Association of Physiotherapy Women's Cell, and she is the head of it. And Vignesh Sir has like lot many things. He is also into fitness, and it's like aqua therapist. He do multiple things, and also he is the big. person behind everything happening in like related to iap in tamil nadu and in chennai so i'm so glad you both came here when i asked for it and thank you so much for coming and now we'll start sir. so first how you started what made you to join physiotherapy how, when you done with plus 2 like 12th grade what made you to think like why i should enter physiotherapy okay i can enter physiotherapy what made that because now people are having an awareness okay physio- if we do physiotherapy okay we will be like this we will get this name we will get that name so now people have a little more knowledge because of social media and all but little back then 5 years 10 years back it was not that hit so that time you already chose physiotherapy so how it happened in that time so actually happy to hear that you uh, made that point that people are aware of physiotherapy yeah. right now but uh, before 10 uh, 20 years i guess like mm. as we were mm. talking i guess i have to rekindle all my uh, <laughs> you know childhood memories <laughs> and you know how my father mm. uh, you know got me that application to mm. counseling mm. and everything it was bds it was it will be like kind of a normal mm. uh, people who tell you know behind I the rest when yeah. you start why is your therapy mm. kind of so yeah. yeah so it's like first year i told my ma'am like mm. the, the, this is the same story mm. i told her so it was my grandfather who had to do physiotherapy for his leg mm-hmm. and uh, he was like you know immobile mm-hmm. uh, it's like immobile it's, it was a musculoskeletal mm-hmm. condition now i know that but before that we thought it was a neuro one mm-hmm. and he was not able to move and we stayed at tambaram mm-hmm. uh, east tambaram my suppose yes mm-hmm. so we had to travel to adyar to do physio there to do physio mm. so we had to catch a cab and you know mm. daily it was a process to mm. take him to a physio he was the only physio there and no physiotherapy centers were available around so my father used to take him mm. on alternative days to adyar and do mm. physiotherapy and come back we used to travel, travel. with him happily mm. like you know to have a travel <laughs> from tambaram to adyar yeah. like you know happily mm. we used to travel so that i used to see that leads and all mm. you know stuck to my mm. grandfathers like my father had an idea about i didn't know that was physiotherapy that time mm-hmm. because i just had to travel and mm-hmm. you know had a nice time but uh, my father had an idea so when uh, people said like you know you go into uh, i'm a you know f- elder child i'm uh, i have a sister mm-hmm. and i'm an elder child obviously you know the responsibilities so and everybody will be like mm-hmm. you, so you involved go, yeah you mm-hmm. so involved in what <laughs> care i have to choose so they were like all my you know all mm-hmm. my chitapas that they mm-hmm. you know, they'll be like you do doctor you do engineer so my father was like doctor no i can't mm-hmm. you know afford and that this and all it's not about afford but uh, i didn't want, want to like force then you know, then bds mm-hmm. kind of came into then it was like counseling i went into physiotherapy and it was like a normal thing for me so so you inter- you started i physio- didn't know about physiotherapy mm. like when you, you know, started when, when i started mm. it was it's a healthcare profession mm. like you know it's yeah. a medical mm. profession and uh, it it deals with pain and something like that i i just know no. that i don't know a picture of, of like what i know right now mm. so yeah that's how i entered how you started to be honest <laughs> <laughs> seriously i don't know what is physiotherapy was Back then. Time. Yeah. Mm, back then, yeah, actually, my father wants me to go to BDS, mm. so I was not interested mm. in doing dental. Dental, yeah. So <laughs> obviously, when we moved, gone yes. to the college, they we came to know about physio. Many other things. Yeah. After joining, also, actually, I was not interested Still in, in continuing. Mm. 
actually yeah. <laughs> then when the interest actually came sir after finishing Fini- yes Graj- by yes. the graduation yes. time we have to after opening something. a clinic i mm. got interested in it actually i was interested in fitness before during my college mm-hmm. days itself mm-hmm. when incorporating fitness into physiotherapy i got interested in mm-hmm. into it into mm. yes. bodybuilding and yes. you know stuff like stuff like that. and yes. he interrelated both the things and found something was there yes. so you know body he was into bodybuilding he used to go to hit the gym with the guys and mm. you know chill so out after finishing i got a idea to incorporate both the things things yes after getting yes, two different yes. knowledges no, but, uh, yes mm. Mm. during those days mm. we had no chances, chances for to, that yeah, exactly yeah. when i got interested into i was the only person back. doing mm. these things exactly. back then even fitness that health stuff yes, was also yes, not yes, that much yes, promoted actually promoted. you are like you incorporated both the things yes. and you started yes. you even when i started also i was interested so interested in joining but after as he said like third and the third, after third year and i finally only i get to know okay it's not easy we're going to deal something yeah, usually just, everyone will be playful during the college first days, two years isn't it yeah that's what i'm only it's sent to the days. parents so i was very <laughs> playful during my college days i was not very much interested mm. in studying also actually mm. but after coming into practice i was very much interested in right and my search end up Yeah. Mm. Maybe that's what the adult age comes when exactly. we understand the yes. reality. No, it was his passion actually mm. like you know uh, bodybuilding you know mm. you training people mm. and getting into a a sport basically bodybuilding yes. that time was like you know not considered as sport mm-hmm. it was like kind of a, a hobby thing mm-hmm. only but he uh, considered that as a sport and you know he went into it mm. and he did many researches on that. ஒரிபிள்ஸ் <laughs> for injury management mm-hmm. i got an idea to inc- incorporate both the things oh the weight lifters and mm-hmm. bodybuilders are work- working with them mm-hmm. for injury management during mm-hmm. those time i was interested in doing and studied a lot about this to be very frank the terminology of injury management was not yes. coined yes. <laughs> actually as we say See. injury management mm-hmm. and you know and injury prevention basically mm-hmm. injury prevention mm-hmm. enhancement mm-hmm. You know, performance, performance enhancement uh, these, these terminology fancy words, fancy right, words right, now. right now but we were like doing it without mm, yes, knowing without it, knowing it. Yeah. but the common platform was exercise mm-hmm. whatever you, you were asking like fitness is different for you i we are not thinking, thinking like that right? physiotherapy is something which has a baseline of exercises whether it be ortho mm-hmm. neuro cardio obg mm-hmm. fitness mm-hmm. the basis exercise mm-hmm. so you play with that mm-hmm. not even the techniques that we mm-hmm. talk about mm-hmm. right now See, mm-hmm. actually i was interested in physiology after completing <laughs> physiology <laughs> two years distinct- of completing physiotherapy oh, distinct- he had a yes. dis- distinction in physiology oh my goodness but with the unknowingly i got <laughs> unknowingly it. Uh, he got that interest after two years of completion so this physiology is like first year physiology or exercise physiology? Exercise physiology. exercise physiology exercise physiology oh my goodness it is already tough right yes. in that to that first three See, chapters you are of- rightly into biomechanics yes yes because yeah mainly people doesn't know about, about biomechanics, biomechanics. Exactly. study sure. true 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 but true. you know the importance of biomechanics after coming to practice true right? that's very true because uh, we think that okay we i we read maybe we may not have that end picture or we may not have the clarity once we started working we'll gain the experience that's how everyone thinks but once we step into the experience place we will like we'll be looking like an odd one out who doesn't know anything at all <laughs> exactly. that then we'll start See, to wonder studying, I, i doesn't know how i passed in biomechanics and what is biomechanics <laughs> seriously true true many of them 
even i do yes. i man i'm thinking after she, she reading understanding so, so studious so yeah. maybe she must have known about no, biomechanics that's your studious is different Friend? getting a knowledge, knowledge is different, different. same yeah. same <laughs> same even i i, I did manage to pass in biomechanics in a good marks but when i started to understand biomechanics i was thinking how i managed to pass how i actually read you know fourth year end and you know the uh, towards the internship mm. basically mm. so when you look, look at people how they walk you know you look at your mom mm. doing the work you kind of you know view and view them in a mm. different way Be- you know that true. actually that vision changed mm. so that mindset change changed. Changed. actually the mindset changed. changed so that's how it's like kind of a process as he said i'm a studious mm. very silent type of a girl and also mm. that doesn't work with physiotherapy Physi- you need to talk, talk. a lot you need to interact, interact with pe- people if you're an introvert actually that changed me you know i'm not an introvert anymore it has to be a both actually, way around i was an introvert <laughs> coming to clinical practice we have to have talk to a lot because exactly. we need to ex- explain exactly. everything it's it's not that you know i won't do this the, you know I'm, if we I'm are not ex- talking patient will not be comfortable exactly. with us you know that you're a professional i can't be like talking to my you know family members mm-hmm. like this my exactly. profession is different yeah. and so yeah. if you are a, if you have a character mm. like that you have to mold yourself mm. you know for the students you know mm. upcoming people it's about the experience that you get along mm-hmm. the practice mm-hmm. so how many patients you see mm. like you know how many people you deal with mm. makes you mm. so how that like everyone once we finish with ug we'll think like okay we'll get a job and after working in a job they might think like okay we'll open a clinic or something so how have you started that private practice of your own which you are doing right now what how is the mindset shift because when i when people ask me why you're not starting your physio practice on a private practice i'll still think like okay i think i need little more time to do my private practice i i do have a confidence i'm not saying i'm not under confident but i do have a confidence but i just feel like okay this is not be a right time let me be i'm working in a hospital right now so let me be work for some time so that is how most of the person's idea ideology will be but how that shift happened okay now i need to open a oh, private practice that. where you have to be the head you have to take all the calls which is literally the toughest thing that management part because we never in college while we reading we never had the opportunity to get the idea of managing stuffs we were trained to treat patients but we were never trained to actually manage mm, how manage things like how to uh, run exactly. a clinic how to run certain things how to make the patients feel satisfied we always thought like okay we need to make the patient better but we never had an uh, idea like okay we need to make the patient comfortable even that word also not much used in our college days so how that mindset shift happened from for completing ug to a opening a private practice <laughs> actually as i already mentioned earlier i was so playful mm. during colleges mm. after finishing i have to do something True. so my parents mm. supported me in all ways so mm. financially everything mm. so i just opened a clinic and was sitting ideal in the clinic so you started just yes. a private just the next month you never worked for I, no no oh. no the next month i have started the clinic after finishing and i was sitting ideal oh. i don't know nothing oh. even to treat a patient mm. Mm-hmm. so that made a spark to learn mm-hmm. after that after because seeing a patient are, mm-hmm. i used to learn mm-hmm. because they are standing on yes. our own legs yes. right now no yes. one to support yes. Yes. it it's like you know his own journey there mm-hmm. but you know for my, for me i did a job like mm-hmm. i worked in a clinic mm-hmm. i went to a fitness mm-hmm. and i wanted to gain that knowledge. experience you know experience mm-hmm. and knowledge what's happening mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. you know how they manage with the clinics mm-hmm. and everybody everything he also went to some actually, kind I of actually i opened a the clinic because of her only so she <laughs> she is there to support That's me right. so i opened the clinic <laughs> <laughs> but after Pro that office, but after couple. that she didn't turn up so i was i was all alone in the clinic that Pro was a problem that, that made me to learn everything exactly <laughs> it was a competition between oh. us so i was like seeing like you know i know something you, i had hmm. that confidence i so as you studied said, in the same college yes, oh. same college so same as college. i said uh, as you said it was like the management part <laughs> so so sorry so the management part he took care of mm. actually he took care of as in his parents were like you know fine he's opening mm. a clinic my son is the owner Principal of the clinic, clinic. kind yeah, of that's... all the work like you know to see the patient you know the outcomes everything yes. was i was managing so it was kind of a playful thing we started mm. but we started learning more from it so that's what i after opening the clinic i i want to learn mm-hmm. so i have i i have traveled used to travel from uh, palikarni to santhum for a job mm-hmm. for learning yes. not for the cost of money 
I was paid. I was getting around eight thousand rupees. Right. Mm-hmm. But I used I do spend more than ten thousand for traveling. Twenty years back. Yes, yes. Oh. eight thousand. But I used to travel. Travel cost around ten yeah. thousand. Yeah. I used to spend. Because he he lived in Kali Karnay. Mm-hmm. He used to travel to Sampoon mm-hmm. just to gain that knowledge, knowledge. because he had that But contacts there. Mm-hmm. You know, many people. See, I I I I thought I should go there to learn things. Mm. I think that's a responsibility yes. our exactly. comes back. I guess that's why people want to open their own place because when we are working with someone for example I'm working with you you are my senior therapist what I'll always like I expect you to give me yes. some knowledge I'll yes. expect you to give me the command that you'll say like Anupriya do this I'll be like I'm ready mm. to do this exactly. my mindset will be like that but when we are doing on our own the shift was completely now I need to take responsibility Okay now we have lots of opportunities mm-hmm. we have Mm-hmm. Way back we do that. We had nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. See the transition of physiotherapy in the twenty years is tremendous. Tremendous, tremendous. actually. Mm-hmm. People crazy. doesn't know what is physiotherapy when we came into practice. And the, we, as you said, it was not only about the management. Mm-hmm. We need to explain the patient. There what was no what first we contact doing. practice. during yeah, those times exactly. that was a problem we used to have prescriptions mm. only like today, they, today like mm. people are coming see she's yes. like you know yes. raising her yes. eyebrows people used to come with prescriptions only, only. prescriptions oh. only prescriptions no not even contact. advised physio yes. nothing no. that's what advice with you wax therapy kind of whatever mm. is mentioned whatever the prescription and is there and patient would say you just follow these this instructions exactly. typical I, we if we usually, start yeah, yeah that's what the patient used to come with that and we usually fold it and keep it inside okay okay kind of and we do the assessment and we train it. then people but change but after the recovery they came to understand, yes. understand. what is this yes. Yes. but at that first part is typically yes. little tough right very tough yes. they will come with a prescription saying that the doctor should have advised ift or wax we will tell them okay let me assess you they will be like no this is what sir said exactly. this is what doctor said and we need to talk you about- need to Talk, talk a more. lot, talk. a lot, <laughs> in yes. order to change them. And that too, when they start, they will be in a dilemma. Like now, sir said this. Now they are doing no, no, this. No, 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 no. But, But that dilemma. The transition happen. right now, mm-hmm. from there to now, mm-hmm. they are believing us now. True, exactly. True, true. Many people yes. coming to us yes. first without yes. even consulting yes. anyone. It took time. It it, it very honest. Mm-hmm. It took time. Like mm-hmm. we have to explain. It's not only about the prescription. Mm-hmm. When they when we are mm-hmm. on call, if you have you do you have wax, I'll come. If you have yes. SWD, mm-hmm. I'll come. I'll say like I don't have that, mm-hmm. but you come. I'll assess. Mm-hmm. Some people will come. Some mm-hmm. people will say I want. Then don't come. Mm-hmm. You know, don't come to my clinic. Mm-hmm. You can see but like you know what. Mm-hmm. But right now, what people are saying like you know, but whatever the patient is mm-hmm. saying, if he pays ten k or twenty k, they say yes. with the money like you know exactly. they are getting, getting the money, money. so f- it has to be a single focus mm. for you if mm. you are like doing a justice to the mm, profession sure. then it should be a justice mm. or if you want money go work somewhere mm. and don't spoil mm. something like that the financial you know? thing played a very huge role very, very, very huge role really. very huge role mm. because opening a clinic was a tough thing those times huge One who is financially sound can only open the mm. clinic exactly. renting a place See, right mm. now pro- people are investing crores and crores of money in clinics true 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 so how of- that evolution so so you opened a clinic then you started to you both were working together and you started to read and all then how much time it like took you to be See, like initially we had a clinic for 200 square feet mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the transition made us to <laughs> open a thousand <laughs> <laughs> square feet clinic right after 6 uh, or 7 years right right seven. but we had idea mm-hmm. but we have to work for 6 or 7 years for doing that doing that see actually it was a risk those time also every mm-hmm. people around me told me you are taking a big big risk of investing a 70 to 80 lakhs of rupees but he was ready to time. take it he was ready to take but it that's so, what the no, law of physiotherapy so i was so confident in mm-hmm. that i'll i'll make the returns mm-hmm. that is what happened if we believe in that yeah and See, if we keeping a indoor focus, swimming pool those time investing in a swimming pool yeah. <laughs> so no everyone was surprised to see that even yeah people do know aqua therapy when you like when i asked about a certain people who do i know like i'm mm-hmm. going to call janini ma'am and sir everyone like yeah they have a aqua therapy and i have a, i feel like okay everyone know them everyone know that the name also the aqua therapy but i never heard this ever before with anyone's name may i i'm not sure how many people do have aqua therapy that too in uh, chennai yeah. no <laughs> no. But I'm I'm not sure. Even I do have no idea about it. No, but they yeah, do. Sure. They do have a therapy, but in a private not, swimming pool or yeah, something, something like that. Like the, the dedicated therapy yes, of not, yours is like that. aqua therapy. How that idea came to see everyone to will have a dream of owning a swimming pool, right? Uh, 
Say, that <laughs> it was a childhood dream to yes. have oh. a swimming pool. Right. That's I it. I thought you were gonna For say Marika. something which is huge. I thought the therapeutic level. I'll tell you that. that. Yeah, we'll finish off that. I'll <laughs> tell you how <laughs> that changed. Tell. It, it was so simple, actually. That's what. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I did everything playfully. Mm. No, it was like. But it worked really yes, well for yes, you. No, yes. it was like he, as he told, mm. uh, it was a swimming pool that mm. he had in Ocean, and in he, he wanted to own a swimming mm. pool. On a serious all. note, actually, we have yes. planned to incur. We wanted to have a uh, USP yeah. for our yes. clinic. Mm. You know, for Aro Green, mm. for Aro Green, it's mm. the USP. Some yeah, USP. Yeah, you need to propose some so kind what of. What is rehab? Uh, we want to change the mm. face of rehab, actually. Mm. <laughs> that is what we both planned so and also we like it not everyone can do for example let me say i am having money but by the way i'm not but let me say like i'm having the money i'm having a like a degree of physiotherapy if i'm like do i start with the aqua therapy i wouldn't because it's not like an easy job doing yeah. in a rehab in a so land is... and that to making a patient in the water like the contra not only the contraindication the precautions the risk factors are too high and already converting a patient to getting a daily rehab is a big goal and that too stepping into a pool was like again a big change right so that is the different aspect of rehab mm. when we were into it people were very much into it everyone will have a love for water right uh-huh. see that's what he actually told it very simple and mm. playful okay mm. how we started mm. but to have a usp for aro green and you know some mm. uh, kind of a, uh, you know different factor should mm. be a driving factor should be there mm-hmm. to i we we were not interested to mm. have that uh, you know kind of exclusive equipments you know invest in electrotherapy mm-hmm. and you know we yes. didn't have that uh, mindset at that time so we thought like you know yeah aqua therapy aqua mm. therapy is something where you do physiotherapy on land and on water mm-hmm. it's a different True. medium yeah okay but it is very as you mm. said it is very difficult and it is very tough to convince an indian patient an indian patient to get inside a water but and you know then i learned it was actually easy mm-hmm. exactly people, then people i got learned got an idea easy. about this yeah and it it was not up as uh, the social media yes. and you know these yeah. things came up that was actually becoming easier mm. but as you say the stigma right yes. to get inside the water, water the dress yes. you know you have to change True. and everything that that too with the women yes. it was difficult, difficult. initially <laughs> initially mm. because <laughs> right. they wouldn't be in the mindset they'll be like okay i'll go see, there and they'll treat my talk. pain actually I'll again talk. Talk. <laughs> see physiotherapy is a word of mouth yes. if you convince True. a single one You will be you will get tens will be like more high rates. That's what happened. And from my knowledge, we do read uh, read aqua therapy and exercise therapy in a second year subject as a one chapter. No, <laughs> like from my knowledge no. in UG, no, no, no. To, in UG. To answer mm. your previous question, mm. no, it is not. It's a you are in the generation where mm. the marketing happens in a wider dimension. Yes. Mm-hmm. For us, it's only word of mouth. Mm-hmm. It was not. We were not believing any kind of a clicks or any kind of a promotional Proposals. activities. Mm. We believed in the results of the patient. and that patient will bring two or three mm. so the word of mouth was the biggest Huge. even in the mbas you have word of mm. mouth you is the you know best form of marketing that why it took you know so many years mm. but the promotional thing right now it is happening with all the time that's what i used to ask him like you know why we are talking about awareness of physiotherapy in this age mm-hmm. with more of you know light towards mm. it why we are talking See, about people it? are talking about entrepreneurship business mm-hmm. physiotherapy mm-hmm. but those time it was not not it was not there. So, so we are also an entrepreneur yeah <laughs> <laughs> you are yeah. you are yeah, you are, are right so now. we released after <laughs> yeah we released after starting after, after 10 years 10 years actually i, I do think but i if I, i might be wrong please correct me if i'm i do think when you do a profession which is of love you never think like you will be an entrepreneur no. or you will come no. up you no. never come up with a different that's what the focus you different know you, the focus the was the passion for the profession exactly right? when people ask me like you are an influencer i'll be like really am i because my mind never goes like okay i'm an influencer now i'll be this because your focus your work will be like you love what you do exactly. so it would be always on that so you never look for a name to tag sure. along with you because you sure. already have a name which exactly. you earned exactly so it's, it stays so there. you can coin me any time like you know you can coin me with a terminology mm-hmm. whatever you want mm-hmm. but i know what mm-hmm. my focus is mm-hmm. you know i am a phys- you can call me a physio you mm-hmm. can call me an entrepreneur mm-hmm. you can call me a you know kind of state head mm-hmm. and you know, association so kind i know what my focus we, is we both used to laugh <laughs> seriously <laughs> but you both doesn't look like that like every if, even if i say like there someone is like a, having a huge background in iap or like having a running a business of that to this, this we are like you know kind of <laughs> that's what i'm saying we will lose it this big 
you were like very simple and just because i do think that that is what the focus is people are getting now they are getting that sh- uh, shiny attention syndrome if they wa- they <laughs> need to look in a certain way so that people will believe that they are a we believe this is what work. we spoke yeah. earlier <laughs> earlier before <laughs> right so we believe our work will speak, speak. that that's what is happening till now mm. and it will happen like you know people will speak As about like the arrow green gave us name mm. exactly we it was like you know aro green we gave the many people <laughs> ask me why you kept aro green what is the meaning of aro what is this <laughs> yeah first yeah what is the meaning of it even i don't know reason behind that she feel explained why aro green then see i'm uh, like a uh, like overthinker you know okay. kind of i put in more she, of perfectionism <laughs> into something you okay. know i i She'll put into beyond tendency beyond uh, like you know kind of oh. that's what he will be like you know Oh so God, I should why? always correct her. Come yes. on, please. <laughs> Come on, cool it down. Be, be in the present. Yeah. Be in the present. Yes. So that people can understand. You know, you don't have to think too much. Just mm-hmm. under people. Just mm-hmm. read about. You Actually, know, think about. Uh, her thoughts. People won't even understand. Mm-hmm. Is yours? Don't even understand her thoughts. Mm-hmm. She was way better. <laughs> like look, like Above thinking yes. more. Yes. Yes. More. That's ahead. what you used to tell me. See, subtle it down. Mm-hmm. You need to like you know make the people understand, understand. what you, you should, tell. You you should read their mindset. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. aro green, I coined it as like aro, okay. which is health, okay. and green, which is like you know a kind Healthy. of a positiveness oh. and health. Okay. So which used to have a you know. See, I worked in a uh, you know fitness company which had a name. I I don't want to tell mm-hmm. the name, but yeah, which had a colored name. So mm-hmm. I want to incorporate that color into mm-hmm. health. So why not Aro Green? So mm-hmm. that then I kept the name and I asked him like you know he was like, what uh, what should <laughs> <laughs> I do? I think like yeah, everything. Yeah, we had a tagline: fitness redefined. That's why. Yeah, fitness redefined was the tagline, and I. let let us give us give the you know kind of uh, life to it it is not about the name it happened actually it yeah. really I, i like it really feels very nice someone telling like the real truth people will tell like no we started it <laughs> like this uh, we had an that's idea of creating of. awareness actually that's what we are scared of why <laughs> no, we are like you know no 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 it's really nice because that's the reality <laughs> exactly. everyone will start Exactly. Even if uh, people will ask how you started, See, if I'll I say like I started to do this in social media because I want to create an awareness and all, that would be a lie, cliche. Yeah, it would be a lie. People come coming for internship, mm. students come. I used to say everything mm. to them, mm-hmm. the same thing. Mm. He But, has a very different kind of approach. Mind. You know, the approach is mm. very different. The attitude is very different. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. He's very like you know chill kind of a person. But it really worked for mm-hmm. him. That mine, was like a huge. Mine thing. is a like kind of a very documented. You centered with something you know, and you have changed. Yeah. I wouldn't say like uh, perfection. It would be like. you both can have your independence exactly you don't have to come up with one same line because exactly. everyone is saying something see, you don't have to your friends will be mm. discussing everything mm. so that's not the not, not that's a problem actually but, but that to when we are a friends i do agree that we will do certain things but when it comes to investment money and everything when we do something that is also a big huge thing right so that time friends I, i'm agreeing the fact but yet so taking some steps towards it and all see, to we had odd say we came out of everything mm-hmm. everyone that happened have. right that's, mm-hmm. that's See, part of we still mm-hmm. have it we mm-hmm. still have the working mm-hmm. on the odds mm-hmm. you know that uh, that's like when you doing mm-hmm. running a business tough mm-hmm. yeah. time See, for a, we had a very big center in Pallikarne mm-hmm. during covid time we had to close that mm-hmm. financially yeah, everything mm-hmm. will happen right mm-hmm. so yeah we had an center another center in Pallikarne we rented it out and we had to close it mm-hmm. because of the covid thing and for you know that actually years, we, we can't run close it and we can't oh. run right everything will happen So it is But not the smooth run that mm-hmm. as we say like you know when we are discussing, We're discussing you know, right it's now. like you know kind of a laugh yeah. you know but yeah that's how the uh, you know the business people, people say see. they don't see, see the, back. the back we do have that odds but mm-hmm. still we are working on it so again i'm coming back to the question like uh, i read aqua therapy as a second year exercise therapy one chapter which is an important essay question right and after third year i do hydrotherapy hydrotherapy as well as aqua therapy and when it comes to third year aqua therapy is not mentioned in anywhere in syllabus hydrotherapy will be hydrotherapy in syllabus but in when it comes to carlin kushner it will be like aqua therapy okay so when it comes to this aqua therapy that second year it will be there and when it comes to third year we will be knowing that in rehab we can add this because it will give a good kind of resistance and assistance as well in finally that is also like a small part but how you Took that a huge that small thing which you read on UG and how that idea came up and 
after starting your aqua therapy on your own do you need any other uh, knowledge apart from your ug knowledge to run a aqua yes, clinic yes yes what yes. are we they? have done courses yes i have been like you know as he said it was a mm. it was a swimming pool that mm. he had in the mm. thing and everything mm. we built it and mm. you know it was like kind of cool mm. then we were like you know yeah uh, we had an notion that you know as i said exercise was the base mm-hmm. for everything mm-hmm. so the medium was mm. different so we wanted to learn and explore mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. so it took time like we you know we high had to do few certifications mm-hmm. in aqua yoga mm-hmm. and you know few exercises like you know uh, but aqua therapy doesn't have that much of a you know uh, length on uh, indian duration uh, durations or anything whatever we have we are like practicing mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. like it was like you know patient wise data that we collect mm-hmm. and you know we learn on them mm-hmm. like basically that's what it's everything a- we learn from the patient exactly so mm-hmm. it's not only it's not about learning from the patient it's about error, actually mm-hmm. it it did pre- uh, gave a good result it did give gave a mm-hmm. good result and uh, we used to have oh, a I different was success rate was 100% No, that's what mm-hmm. we worked around it mm-hmm. so because on land we know what are the glitches that we face and you know in water we used to get inside the water mm-hmm. and say like you know what we practiced on mm-hmm. ourselves also so it is very easy i don't say like you know you See, go and do the certification we both will do something no you don't have to something. go and have a certification you gain some knowledge mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. when you are inside the water you know what how you have to do you know mm-hmm. what the exercises you know what are mm-hmm. the, the the gravity uh, plays Assist. a major mm-hmm. role in uh, you know both the land and water mm-hmm. so that actually you need to analyze and interpret mm-hmm. interpret basically mm-hmm. analyze and interpret and that we basically did excellently well mm-hmm. so that's what worked so but also a, you did also some previous courses exactly. in order to understand better exactly. because when we see say something see, on social media that. people will believe that and they started to do on their own without knowing much mm-hmm. knowledge on it so mm-hmm. that's why i want to clarify that they are running that having a good knowledge on it so if you want to oh, do have the good that way, right? yeah good now now i'm it. clearing it out mm-hmm. seriously so if you are into see i don't know swimming or mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. into the water mm-hmm. is the first time uh, we uh, like kind of in he Uh, got me into a water sport initially mm-hmm. uh, called uh, stand up paddling mm-hmm. okay and we were enjoying that and mm-hmm. i wanted to have that in my mm-hmm. i mean in our clinic in mm-hmm. aro green so that's how we kind of when we, when i stood on that paddle mm-hmm. board it took me into another notion mm-hmm. about balance mm-hmm. and proprioception mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. actually many physios were coming and yes. practicing mm-hmm. that stand up paddle even okay. the water sport mm-hmm. we had we had to practice we were like my friend was introduced to mm-hmm. that to yes. india actually. so what is it actually we have to maintain balance in the water yes no, no, if i'm no, not no. wrong actually, actually it's a sport mm-hmm. water sport okay. stand up paddle sport. okay what so my one of my friend is oh, has only introduced in mm-hmm. in india okay. Oh, oh! Even I'm. I never heard this. That's what I'm saying. See, stand up paddling. Have you heard of surfing? Yeah, I do. Yes. Heard of yes. it. Yes, it's heard similar it. to surfing, surfing, but on a still water. Without like in a any yes. wave or something. Any They wave need to on a still water. Oh. You have a paddle board <laughs> and a leash kind of. Oh. What is that leash to me, right? Paddle or some paddle. No, you have paddles. yeah. You have a paddle paddles. and you have a leash and you know you have a you practice then on a still water on lakes the water and everything. Will, water will not move it will be like a stagnant water no you will be yes it's a stagnant, stagnant water, water. water but you have that paddle wind, uh, wind pattern will be there right stand up paddling mm. people will know i guess so stand up paddling so that actually came and uh, you know that we explored mm. there you know you we kind of had that notion of okay something is like kind of we need to put in more mm-hmm. because the medium then we came up with you know learning more about it mm-hmm. like you know what exercises then we came to know about aqua yoga and we did certifications in that you know uh, gain few knowledge about there is a network of india we learned about in the you know Uh, websites mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. so we had an idea about like you know okay this is it and and uh, you worked for it also eventually exactly. worked yes. for it so See, do it before having a patient in aqua therapy inside a pool mm-hmm. it was around it took one one and a half years to mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. after opening the clinic as a patient oh. as a patient as a patient as but, you but, say but, but we used to do aqua zumba and ah, everything it but it, kind of like a fitness thing keep, keeping it engaged fitness thing mm-hmm. fitness thing right mm-hmm. one and a half years as a patient mm-hmm. we just had there but before that it was a fun kind of an activity mm-hmm. we wanted to have we didn't wanted to have practice as a therapy P. 
you know mm-hmm. therapeutic thing mm-hmm. so we had it as one we waited actually mm-hmm. we waited and one Gain and a half knowledge yes, and everything we did that you know as you say like with the certification mm-hmm. whatever is happening we gained it till then we kept that engaged mm-hmm. as a business you know thing mm-hmm. we kept that engaged as he said mm-hmm. we used to have zumba mm-hmm. we used to have playful activities for mm-hmm. the kids and all so that we used mm-hmm. to have but as a therapeutic thing mm-hmm. with the patients it took one and a half years mm-hmm. then we had you know excellently explorable patients mm-hmm. gbs you know can you say some one case history like which turned it like tell me something a little different like this case we tried and which has a good results which we many neuro cases many neuro cases yeah, yeah many neuro cases 100% recovery with aqua therapy yes see we mm-hmm. had a gbs patient mm-hmm. 100% recovery with aqua Mm-hmm. but you also added other, any other thing along with it or one yes a- we used to do rehab training also oh, see mm-hmm. it will be alternative see it is not only uh, as you say mm-hmm. uh, as a treatment port- mm-hmm. protocol mm-hmm. you set a timeline Time for everything. everything see you when you give a patient mm-hmm. a timeline of you know uh, only mm-hmm. IFT mm-hmm. only exercise we won't give right It'll, it is a mix, mix of, of protocol mm-hmm. so exactly the same works for mm-hmm. you know when a com- patient comes with a neuro case and all it is a mix of a, whatever the uh, therapist is you know seeing that day mm-hmm. you know the patient is coming with this progress mm-hmm. or you know the patient is coming inside like you know walking like this then they'll know like you know this patient needs an aqua inside weekly mm-hmm. once or twice then you put him on land mm-hmm. it is a combination it is not only e aqua, aqua therapy it is not only mm-hmm. you know land so mm-hmm. with geriatric patient we will see wonderful exactly. results exactly really yes. very oh. true very true it works initially, wonders uh, initially they'll be hesitating to enter into sure, water but after sure. getting into it they won't come out yes. <laughs> they'll be much interested Still in much doing interest. the recovery matters right mm, doing in aqua therapy so even when you are saying something it will be like so fascinating to me that who really do because i do know our people do aqua therapy and all but someone doing it on the doing it on real time that to back not in now yeah. without any influence That's of any saying. other platforms But because nowadays social media play a huge role because people do know me by social media i'm grateful for it but that is not the only medium also to be known actually they i'm like i'm so happy to see other people who have like no ideation like you not depending on a medium you depending on your word of mouth and you are more depending on your what you do and you are so concentrated on it so you, even though people do know you many people do know you but you never thought okay let me uh, need a medium to show who am i that's really really <laughs> great to have that kind of a mindset that to in this time in this era everyone wants to have a medium to showcase what they do because it's a highly competitive world exactly. nowadays and really that was so how this aqua therapy happened then how this iap happened mm-hmm. both of you <laughs> <laughs> see actually after It's coming into practice mm-hmm. i had a thought that Uh, physiotherapy was underestimated comparing mm. to other, other medical professions. health professions so i was in a search for the reason mm-hmm. so i got into contact with many people who were working for the profession for years oh so joining hands with them uh, landed I me into a p more knowledgeable or something you have contacts with everything <laughs> so that's what i'm saying he no he wants to explore something now only But he like, doesn't seem like no, it now, so like calm. maybe 5 6 years only he's settling down and you yeah. know kind of taking a back step mm. Uh, like before five seven years i guess like you know he used whatever it is i'll just go and see and come you know it's like you know i need to explore it i need to talk to that person he won't hesitate and all that's now what? only he's taking a back step i don't know why but still <laughs> that's what when when you had the contact, contact in the with the people mm-hmm. i was very much interested in working with knowing them, them. Mm-hmm. so which i ended up in entering into iap and association mm-hmm. activities ma'am how you did me i'm the only reason <laughs> the only reason the only reason only reason because like i i see i i wanted a woman to be a leader actually mm-hmm. a trustable mm-hmm. woman maybe he chose me <laughs> i had no other option <laughs> Okay. So this is personal level, but yet professionally, you are no, fit. No, that's what uh, basically no, what no, happened. No, no, that's what I said. Mm. She, she had a idea. Good, she idea was knowledge. way yeah. above Bob everyone. Bob so uh, so you are wanted her fit, to get good into fit. It. But in a personal <laughs> level, what, see, couple level, he's see, telling this. Easily joining into it, then nothing will happen, right? Yeah. She, she must have something so, to, to do. Get, nah, yes. To do. That that's how it worked out. Now also we will be having a you know fight over it. Like why did you like you know drag me into this? You know one now only like you know I'm doing this that and all. But that actually had an impact. Right. 
so we are not able to handle that impact that. right now <laughs> that's the truth yeah. basically so once you entered into iap like just explain what is iap what it actually do because See, actually, students do know yes, we have yes. an in- indian association of physiotherapy council is there but many council people know no. no like not iap is there in the association is there so but many students was not aware what it actually do do we need to get like we do know that as a member we can be a member so what does iap what it do actually oh, from Indian your association perspective the physiotherapists is the oldest association for more than 60 years mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. it has more than 50000 active members mm-hmm. and coming to students mm-hmm. they, we have lots of platform in it mm-hmm. career guidance mm-hmm. um, studying in abroad research research grants, uh, mm-hmm. research grants. Mm-hmm. but people are not aware of anything true 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 mm-hmm. if like see uh, i i i would i would blame the professors and mm-hmm. colleges in the place they should make students mm. to understand this these things mm. but i think they are not doing mm. what i don't know what so what all the other opportunities like an iap have do, do they give career guidance in sense like how to be how to get yes 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 really